all the way back in 2018, so around six years ago, this publication, Irresistible by Andy Stanley, was released. And this resource caused a huge controversy in a great deal of evangelicalism because Stanley's major premise was that Christians needed to de-hitch themselves from the Old Testament. And anyone who has been monitoring Andy Stanley's ministry activity since then has seen him continue to devolve into more and more progressive and liberal ideas. Now, today's messianic community, finer details notwithstanding, are right to recognize how in being removed from a Tanakh Foundation, Old Testament Foundation, there have been some devastating ethical and moral consequences witnessed in far too much of contemporary evangelicalism. Many of the debates witnessed over the past three to four decades, whether they involve things like premarital sex, abortion, homosexuality, Today, we're dealing with LGBTQ and transgender controversies. Many of them can be traced back to claiming believers not having a strong ethical and moral foundation in the Tanakh or Old Testament. So it's no surprise why today's Messianic community attracts many evangelical believers who want to recapture some understanding of the Bible of Yeshua, Jesus, and his first followers. Now, all of us continue to monitor developments on the far left, uh, which is where a lot of this dehitching from the Old Testament comes from. Yet, as I have been spending more and more time on different social media platforms, especially Twitter and X, I've seen some very disturbing trends from the alt-right, those on the far right, especially those who tend to be very anti-Semitic, anti-Jewish, and anti-Zionist. And while seeing those on the far left, while we want to de-hitch from the Old Testament, uh, is quite disturbing, while they haven't used the terminology de-hitch from the Old Testament, there are those on the alt-right who believe something similar. Being clouded by a very anti-Semitic, anti-Jewish narrative, we are going to be seeing more and more those on the alt-right promote the idea that the yud he vav he right, of the Tanakh, the Old Testament, is actually not... He is a different God, a different entity than the Father of Jesus. yod vav Yahweh, Yahweh, Hashem, is a different deity than the Father of Jesus Christ. And those of you all who know ancient Christian history have doubtlessly heard of the error of Marcionism. Uh, Marcion was an ancient a person in the second century who edited uh, his own version of the New Testament, mainly wanting to remove all references to Judaism and the Jewish people and Israel. He definitely believed that the God of the Old Testament was different than the Father of Jesus. So the God of the Old Testament is different than the God of the New Testament. Now, whatever is starting to come out of some people in the alt-right, these are old heresies in a new wrapper, right? Old age repackaged as new age. New age is just old age in a new wrapper, uh, as many of us uh, say. But some of the reasons uh, for wanting to dismiss the Tanakh or Old Testament are things we will have to apologetically sort through. Well, yod heh vav -He demanded blood sacrifices. That's just cruel. He commanded 
Israel to commit genocide against groups like the Canaanites or the Philistines or whomever. And obviously, the Old Testament scriptures, they have been thoroughly edited and thoroughly corrupted by Zionist Jews who, you know, secretly in their cabal run the world and its finances and the different governments and what have you. Now, as it concerns us as Bible readers, we're not concerned about, well, how do we change the minds of different figures on the alt-right? They're already turned over to their lusts, their desires, uh, their need to have attention. We need to be more concerned about people who have been believers for years. They've, at least they've claimed to be believers for years. They read the Holy Scriptures. They might not read the Tanakh or the Old Testament to the degree they should. And then they encounter these matters like, oh, Abraham was told to sacrifice Isaac. The Israelites were told to continually be sacrificing animals and do these weird things with their blood. Israel was told to go conquer Canaan and not leave so much as a tree stump. Well, that's just cruel. And of course, we see those same offenses being committed today in the Israel-Hamas conflict. So, these are some very serious matters we as Messianic people have to take into consideration. Right now, uh, I am more at the information gathering stage. This is what people are talking about, but they are very serious. Uh, I know many of us can get very upset and very disturbed at how, how we have seen the independent Hebrew Roots movement uh, get a lot of publicity by posting different memes and Bible passages quoted out of context without any consideration for background or how it's been interpreted or what have you. Well, guess what? Those on the left do it. Those on the alternative right do it as well. And it affects our apologetics. It affects our understanding of the reliability of God's word, the right place of animal sacrifice, the right place of various activities of divinely commanded violence, uh, and it affects even how we evaluate what is happening in our world today. Uh, so this is one of the matters which I encountered uh, on the recent journey to Messiah 2024, just scrolling through social media. Uh, I'm sure most of you are unaware of this, your local congregational leader or rabbi probably is unaware of it, but as we enter into these increasingly more uncertain times, don't expect opposition to the Bible, especially the Tanakh or Old Testament, solely to come from the progressive left. It's going to come from the alternative right as well, and we need to be in a much stronger position to address some of these matters and I will keep you up to date and posted as I see uh, different uh, developments unfold.